All right. Thanks, Paul. So let's start with a uh, mental exercise. Imagine you're a coral. Okay, you shed your mammalian skin and you uh, slip into the body of one of our distant marine relatives, a coral. And uh, try to imagine how life would be like. Beautiful colors, a merry school of fish swimming playfully around you. It's beautiful. Yet, there is a darker side to these pic idyllic pictures. So most of the denizens of the reef spend their time eating each other or each other's waste. And uh, then in their spare time, they reproduce, all sharing their seed in the same bathwater. <laughs> so in a sort of iconoclastic sense, our iconic reef is something between a slaughterhouse and an orgy in the middle of a public latrine. <laughs> Sorry if I break your drinks. Uh, so, I mean, needless to say, this poses some serious hygiene problems. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this is a fertile breeding ground for all sorts of bacteria and microbes. And unfortunately for corals, most of them are uh, tightly attached to the ground and they cannot just move on if they're not happy where they are. So their line of defense against all this aggression in there is their immune system. So a uh, fundamental goal of coral biology is to understand how this immune system works and how it might react in uh, scenarios of pollution, global warming, ocean acidification, as we've heard. So to understand that, we looked at the coral DNA, and as you see, we saw in the coral DNA that relative to other animals, corals spend a relatively high amount of their genetic material dedicated to the immune system, okay? But, so coral have a well-developed immune system, but how does it work? Is this large array of immune gene a sort of big weapon of mass destruction to uh, destroy all bacteria that are around them? And the picture might be a little bit more complicated than that. So it is becoming increasingly apparent that Microbes are an intrinsic component of most animals. So much so that even August scientific journals like The Economist are talking about it. <laughs> so for us, for instance, in human, nine in every 10 cell in our body is a bacteria. So you are not alone in your body. <laughs> for corals, the picture is further uh, complex by the fact that there is another key player in this association, the symbiotic algae. So corals are a complex association between corals, Ig, and a variety of microbes. But what role does the immune system play in this complex association? And to answer that question, it is convenient to look at relative of corals, uh, models like the sea anemone or hydra that are more amenable than corals to um, uh, manip experimental manipulation. And so using complex um, molecular experiment on these models, it has been revealed that the immune system of these animals does not simply fend off pathogens, but it shapes the bacterial community associated with these animals. So, in summary, a complex but fascinating picture emerges. The immune system of corals, another animal, is not simply a massive weapon aimed at destroying all the bacteria around them, a sort of antibacterial Stalin organ. It's more of a subtle musical instrument that orchestrates all this fragile equilibrium between the host, the animal, its associated uh, organism, and the pathogens. Thank you. <laughs>